Here. Daniel, if I clicked on the wrong button, I'm sorry, man. I thought I clicked admit to you. Oh, it's good. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, yes. right. Yeah, okay. I can hear you. How's it going? Pretty good. 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 Well, we are live on YouTube right now. Thanks for joining us today. Awesome. Yeah, my pleasure. Cool. cool. Uh, let me bring the... I'm going to bring the chat up and make sure I can see what's going on here. That, that... Okay, there we go. So, great. So, Daniel's with BridgeCom Univ uh I say BridgeCom University. <laughs> BridgeCom Systems up in Kansas City, and you guys offer a wide variety of DMR-type uh, information sharing, really. And you do sell DMR radios. You're not you, That's not unique to BridgeCom, but you guys offer a lot of extra packages on top of the DMR radios uh, that, uh, that are not offered elsewhere lots of times. And uh, the first time... I ever met BridgeCom uh, was at, at a ham. Well, it was back when Tim was working for you guys, and uh, years ago at, at a ham fest, I think in in Oklahoma, and the the repeaters that you guys build, which are like commercial grade repeaters, is what is what really kind of got me into reading more about BridgeCom. So Daniel, thanks for being here on a Sunday. Really appreciate you taking out the time today. And uh, just go ahead and tell us about um, uh, what's going on at BridgeCom. I got your email this morning about your giveaway, so I don't know if that's ended mm -hmm. or what the timing on that is. If that doesn't apply here, that's okay. Um, I was in the middle of doing YouTube stuff, so I didn't read the email. I just saw it come in, so feel free to talk about that if you want to. Uh, yeah, sure. So uh, just going off the giveaway thing real quick, That's uh, we're actually ending a giveaway that's been going on for like the last month. Um, that actually just ends today, coincidentally. Um, <laughs> okay. So, yeah, if, you, if any of you want to sign up to that, uh, we're giving away, like, a mobile plug-and-play package, and there's a link on our website, bridgecomsystems.com. But that'll end tonight, and then we'll draw that Tuesday because uh, Monday will be gone for uh, Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, yeah, so we, um, we sell a few things uh, and, and do a few things that a lot of uh, other, you know, dealers and people in the industry don't really do. Um, so the main thing that we bring um, is a lot of, like, information value in regards to DMR. Um, so, like, we sell a line of DMR radios. We sell the Anytone line right now. Um, and Anytone's a, a company in China, and we're uh, BridgeCom. We're one of their dealers. But um, what we've done is we've really we've taken those radios and we've added, we've built this, uh, these thing, this course called BridgeCom University up. Mm -hmm. And um, it's basically a course that, like, you know, a lot of people perceive DMR as being kind of a confusing, like, complicated topic um, that's hard to get into. And it can be for sure if you don't have the right resources, but we've basically like just painstakingly through just customer questions, just, you know, doing tech support calls and stuff built up like a, a course that's, you know, A to Z, like getting your stuff out of the box to programming it, to building a code plug, setting it up, tweaking like virtually every single setting and compiled all that information in a really uh, easy to use video and uh written course mm -hmm. that's like uh, for the for the handheld it's almost like 86 lessons uh of stuff yeah like just a ton of information yeah. that we've over the last like couple years um and we give that away with every radio we sell right so right people can purchase bridgecom university if you're not a bridgecom customer but if you mm -hmm. purchase a radio through bridgecom the university comes with it for free so that's correct so yeah. it's kind of like a you know where you where you go type thing so that's good i just shared the link to the giveaway and to bridgecomuniversity.com in our youtube chat so great great thank you yeah thanks daniel please continue yeah cool so yeah um besides that um another cool thing that we offer that like a lot of that we haven't seen anybody else do is um a plug and play option for dmr so um you know again going off that like you know dmr can be a bit challenging to set up like i'm not gonna lie you know it does require a bit of effort you know i mean it's not like difficult as long as you can just follow instructions but if you just don't even want to do that right out of the box um, we offer what's called the plug and play package um, which comes with a an anytone dmr radio and a, a db mega hotspot and uh, we program and set that up just give us your dmr id and your uh, amateur radio call sign and we'll program that up for you and and ship it right to your door and literally it's as easy as like taking it out of the box plugging it into your internet and turning it on and like you're talking right there and that's that's it. Like that's, you think there would be like more steps. We actually have like a, a real time video coming out. It's like seven minutes long of one of our guys, you know, pretending like he just got one and uh, it took him <laughs> even with some hiccups, like he couldn't get it to connect for a second. Uh -huh. And uh, like, even with some hiccups, it took him like seven minutes from getting it out of the box to turn to, to making contacts on the air. Nice. Uh -huh. That's cool. But uh, okay. Yeah. So that's a really good service we have. We have. Cool. Okay, good. So, um, <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's always good because you're right about the the whole DMR stigma, is that um, it is more difficult than 
there is a learning curve to it, as you said, yeah. but it's not as complicated as people make it out to be, in my opinion. And a lot of right. people come to my channel because I've done so many videos on the same thing. So, yeah, that's that's a really good service you're providing, I think. So, um, great. Uh, tell us about you guys have some really unique and uh, and well-built uh, repeaters that are correct me if I'm wrong on this, that are actually manufactured in the USA. And uh, for the I mean, at least at least they're assembled in the USA. I think right. most of the parts are made in the USA as well. Um, so tell us about those if you don't mind. Sure. Um, yep. So we sell uh, three different, we sell a repeater. It comes in three different uh, frequencies or, or uh, bands. We have a, a 440 repeater, um, a two meter repeater and a 220 repeater. Okay. Um, now they can range in, in the highest power from 50 Watts um, continuous duty on the two meter, 40 Watts continuous duty on the, the uh, 440 machine and 30 Watts continuous duty on the 220 repeater. Mm -hmm. And, um, so out of the box, we, they, uh, they're 1195, um, is the cost and they're analog, uh, you know, and so these repeaters, they, um, they come with a internal power supply and an internal controller. Um, so it's almost like a plug and play deal. You don't have to go and source those parts. And we actually, you know, included in that price, we will actually program and set up that repeater for you. So you get it, and it's pretty much plug and play for your club. Um, the, those repeaters, like you said, are assembled in the USA. Um, I think the modules are made so the the transmitters and stuff are made in like Korea, mm -hmm. um, but everything. I think most of the other things are made in the U.S. as well. But okay. we assemble them right in our shop here, just north of Kansas City. Um, test them, test everything, uh, you know, inspect them out right here in the shop. Um, so you know you're going to get a good unit, mm -hmm. and uh, and we service them right here. You know. So if you ever need service or, or anything like that, warranty, um, they come with a two-year warranty. Okay. Um, so they're they're really great units. You know, they're really great. Like uh, we sell a lot of a lot of people, a lot of clubs like to get them. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. You know, they want to replace their old ailing machines, and uh, this is a great uh, you know device. They can just plop right into wherever the other one it was, and they're on they're on there. Mm -hmm. You know, already set up. There's a club down just south of me that has one of your 220 machines, and for the longest time they had the mo they had. They had some problems with it, and it was like, man, it should it should work better than that. It should sound. Turned out, after some troubleshooting, it was actually a uh, it was actually a kink in mm. the 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 uh, the seven eights coax they had. It didn't have anything to do oh, with wow. the repeater at all. <laughs> so, magically, once they fixed that, it was like that machine came alive. It was loud, and it still is today. It works great. It sounds really good. And uh, the two twenty band, the noise floor on the two twenty band in most areas, especially around here, is very low. So hmm. 220 just reaches out there and touches someone. So that I, I'm not aware of anyone else who makes an out-of-the-box 220 repeater like that. There's, I mean, you can build 220 repeaters out of a couple of mobile radios and, and some uh, interface units and whatnot. That's easy. But, but uh, you guys are one of the most unique uh, 220 offerings that I've um, ter uh, talked about or read about. So two questions from the chat. Someone's offering – someone's asking if you offer GMRS repeaters – and then someone else is asking about your duplexers, which I know you have duplexers. So GMRS repeaters, yes or no? And then you can talk about your duplexers. Um, so, yeah, we have a lot of people for the GMRS. Um, we do have a lot of people use our, our 440 machine um, for GMRS. It is part 90 uh, commercially accepted. Um, our, our VHF repeater is as well. Um, you know, there's some, like, discussion as to whether or not you can use part 90 repeaters um, for GMRS. But they there are no part 95 GMRS repeaters and there's really not a lot of part 95 anything no gets, gets manufactured so there's really no other option um my gmrs.com he's put our, his arm around us and he actually resells our repeaters now okay. um for GMRS um and we have a lot of guys do that and uh they have a lot of success there and then in regards to duplexers um we do have duplexers for all of our repeaters um for the for the 440 machine we have a, a, a common one probably our most popular option is it's called the bcr 40 du and uh it's like a, it comes with a built-in like flat pack duplexer um and that pa that package is only like 15.95 for a repeater and duplexer pre-programmed and pre-tuned you know shipped to your door so very affordable um but yeah we've got those duplexers and we have some bigger ones for vhf and then we have some 220 duplexer as well okay. so yeah um and if also if you need like you know feed line or antennas uh we can provide that and get you a you know complete setup if you need the whole package, huh? The whole thing, yeah. Okay. Now, talk about your, and you didn't, you, you it sounded like you were going to go this direction, then you didn't, um, but your repeaters have a, um, I think it's an RS-232 port on the back, or some kind of uh, digital interface port that, that you mm -hmm. can plug up a Raspberry Pi directly to it and make it into an MMDVM 
multi-mode or single-mode digital voice repeater. So talk about that for a second, if you don't mind. Sure thing. Yeah, so we actually, that is an option you can get. So um, there's a 24-pin accessory connector on the back of the repeater. You can interface that with DVMs or or external controllers or, you know, all sorts of of fun stuff. Um, But we actually sell what's called our MMDVM upgrade kit, and it's like the MMDVM board uh, in a box, and it's uh, the cable and then our setup. And that will enable you, and you can get that, you know, from us from the factory set up for you. Um, and that will enable you to use your repeater on a DMR for amateur use, D-Star, or even System Fusion. Mm-hmm. And you can even run it mixed mode, uh, analog, and one of those modes as well. You know, so if you've got some people like in the group that want to keep their analog, but you've got some other guys that want to go into digital, um, you can have that ability. And you can switch the modes, you know, around to whatever you want. It's just a Pi star interface, mm-hmm. you know, with just a flick of a switch. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's, and that's only an additional uh, $410 to have a, you know, a digital repeater cool. um, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then that's so. a, yeah, that's a commercial grade repeater mm-hmm. on top of that. So, uh, so yeah, gr- good, good deal. Well, Hey man, great. Um, Hey, we blew through that really fast. <laughs> yeah. so, so if, uh, if there's anything else, I mean, you guys, uh, well, let, let me, uh, you got this, this, uh, this giveaway that's ending today, Yeah. but, um, and I'm on your email list. So I get the multitude of emails. You guys, you guys are all over the email game. Um, but you do giveaways pretty regularly. Mm-hmm. So do you have another one planned um, upcoming yet? Or is it just kind of like uh, a last minute decision that you do? Or t- t- tell us what, what we can expect to see next after this one today ends. Sure. Yeah. So we've got a giveaway um, definitely for sure coming out ne- next week. Okay. Uh, another one going to be announced. Um, you'll see my face on the, <laughs> on the Facebook a bunch. Um, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, no. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you want to sign up for this one, it's still open. You just have to have an amateur radio call sign to win. Um, just go to the link you put in the description or whatever, mm-hmm. and uh, just put in your name, email, and call sign, and you'll be entered to win that. Um, but yeah, we'll have another one coming out this week. Um, I can't remember exactly what we're giving away just right off the top of my head. Okay. But uh, it's going to be another cool prize. You guys are going to really like it. Um, but yeah, we try to do a giveaway like at least once a month. Uh, it's kind of, you know, maybe a little bit spaced out more than that. Uh, and then we try to do one like, during our like our events you know like we did three um for the uh we did our hamvention live stream and we did like one each day which mm-hmm. was pretty cool mm-hmm. um but yeah that's what kind of what we're trying to do good is there any questions from the chat or anything like that yeah somebody's asking and, and you kind of already answered this but he might have missed it because the the sure. number of the number watching has gone up since we started uh somebody's asking um what um what is included with the turnkey repeater okay um yeah, so you'd get the repeater um, with, it, I mean, it would depend on what you bought. So like, okay. multiple options. Hi- hypothetically, like let's just say you bought, like let's just say you have everything except the repeater, right? Okay. Like you have a duplexer, you have feed line, you have antenna. Um, you would get the repeater, and then we would all you'd have to provide us is your frequency pair, your PL tone, your call sign, and whatever power output you'd like. We'd set that all up in the repeater, and you get the the repeater. It comes with like an AC cable, AC. Uh, wall plug-in um it has a dc battery backup if you want it, it has built-in a power supply you know and built-in controller right so like you don't need to go and buy all those things separate mm-hmm. you just it's like a plug and play deal you literally just once it's already set up you just slap it in your rack or wherever you have uh, plug it into your uh, cans and everything like that and uh turn it on and you're you're on the air repeating mm-hmm. so perfect uh, mm-hmm Good. I'm uh, I'm looking up my video here because I did a uh, I did a video a couple of years ago that uh, that basically did a walk around of all sides mm-hmm. of the repeater. So I'll share that in the chat real quick, right there. So yeah. So someone someone else came along and said repeater duplexer tuned up on your frequency pair. You offer mm-hmm. that, and um and yeah, as long as you provide all of the information for uh you know coordinated frequency pair and peel mm-hmm. tone and all that kind of good stuff you guys will do that now your repeater also and i don't know the answer to this myself you have an interface cable for a computer and software to self-program your repeater yes. that that comes with the pr- repeater and everything is that is that correct or no so that's uh additional okay. um, it's okay. not like necessary because we set it up for you but right. if you want to change it later um it's an additional 75 dollars for the programming cable and software okay and then you can tweak it and do whatever you, you know you want yeah. and and we do if even if you buy like so in regards to duplexers and the and the setup there we we program them if you buy a repeater with a duplexer but we if you just buy duplexers we'll we'll tune them for you as well to no additional charge that's included in the price okay and that's a I know that's a big hurdle for some people because they don't have all the equipment to tune duplexers. So right. we'll tune them for you. 
Cool. Even if, it, yeah, so you can buy just buy the existing repeater setup that some mm-hmm. club, yeah. a club has somewhere they need du- du- a new duplexer they purchase from you and you'll tune them and they just plug and play once they get it. Exactly. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Awesome, man. Hey, well, good deal. Um, I really appreciate you coming on to the show today, Daniel. Yeah. Um, once again, on a Sunday, um, some some people's schedules didn't mesh up with that, but um, but uh, I, I want to thank you and, and Gigaparts both because you guys were willing to, to step up and come on and talk about you know what? Talk. This is what you would have been talking about last Sunday if we were all in Dayton. So yeah, yeah, pretty <laughs> so, much. No, it's no sweat off my back. I'm, yeah. I'm happy to come on and, and talk to you. Good deal. Yeah. So, and I, I saw an email that Dwayne's working for you guys now. Yeah. So yeah. So Dwayne um, decided to come on. He was working with with Anytone uh, mm-hmm. directly through the factory, and then he uh, just wasn't working out for some reason. And then uh, so you know, uh, there I think their contract ended. He was on a contract basis thing, and and so we. Uh, just offered we we talked to him at like uh, hamcation in person he was actually down there with us i met that's um, the first time i met him face to face was at your booth in hamcation yeah yeah so he's a really cool guy um mm-hmm. we we really like hanging out with him he's really great with you know our customers and just people he supports just the way that he goes about things um so we yeah we decided you know um we want to just keep you know building up the support and stuff so we decided to bring him on um as one of our techs and uh and you know so far it's been really great and he's Good. just you know working remote but uh we're and, you know, so far it's been great. And, you know, he's going to be able to support a lot of people a lot better, a lot more people, you know. He's very knowledgeable with DMR, DMR yes. in general. Of course, you know, like you said, he worked for Anytone. So he knows the Anytone system forwards and backwards. But he's very knowledgeable just about the DMR mode itself as well. So it's it's great to uh, – I've traded emails with him in the past about various questions I've had. And he's been like, yeah, you can do this and this and this. And uh, it, it's been really good. So that's that ought to be a real uh, asset that you guys are adding to the team up there, I think. Oh, absolutely. His initials are literally DMR. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I thought that was because he was into DMR, but then I'm like, oh, no. no his, exactly his, his, his actual, name. yeah, his his middle name starts with an M, so his name yeah. is Dwayne M something, Reese. Yeah, something Reed. Reese. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, that's 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 funny. Uh, somebody in the chat is asking if you guys ship to Europe. Um, we do. Yeah, we do ship to Europe if you'd like. Mm-hmm. So Europeans have a, probably a different... Uh, uh, frequency range on the 440 and the two meter band. They don't offer 220 mm-hmm. over there at all. So that's is are there different uh, are there different hardware repeaters that you ship over there that are CE certified rather than FCC, or is it just kind of the same thing reconfigured? Um, I don't know. We don't really have any like European certifications. Okay. Um, just because we does not really like if you're in talking in regards to the repeaters. Um, we haven't really sold many over there. Okay, it's probably due to just shipping costs. I would imagine we yeah. have sold we have sold some stuff to like, I think, um, maybe Africa, maybe um, like the Middle East. I'm not sure, but okay. I, we do sell a lot of repeaters to like Central America and and uh, the islands and stuff. Yeah. Um, for whatever reason, it must be just word of mouth. But like, we don't really advertise down there, and like, we just. You know, there's just a lot of sales from down there for some reason. You and, know, uh, I've spent some time in South America and Costa Rica, and you, the, there are you can't buy stuff locally there. Mm-hmm, you have to, yeah. and you, you have to just just suck it up and pay for international shipping if you want something because you don't have any other option in, in a lot of those places. So that's that you know, especially in the Caribbean islands, you're not going to find a ham right. radio store or a, or a two-way radio store on <laughs> on Grand Cayman or something like that. But uh, you know, anyway. So, well, good. Uh, hey, man, thanks again. Appreciate you being here. Uh, I'll go ahead and let you drop. Um, anybody okay. that's wanting more information, go to bridgecomsystems.com. Uh, mm-hmm. Go sign up for the giveaway. The link was in the chat earlier. I saw Frank share it again. And um, bridgecomuniversity.com has a lot of really good videos set up for uh, DMR in general, the beginner's guide, uh, especially if you're into the AnyTone stuff, and uh, which are some of my, realistically, I get asked this question all the time. If you had to choose one DMR radio right now, what it would be. And over the years, that's changed a little bit. Right now, sure. in the here and today, the Anytone D878 Plus is my favorite HT 100%. Yeah, that, that, that I've used uh, because just all of the offerings it has, the really great display, the large capacity of, of contacts that it holds, and um, the fact that it'll work with the NG or GSG contact manager so mm-hmm. you can really manipulate the code plug a lot of different ways with it. Um, so that's always good. So thank uh, Daniel, thank you once again. Uh, I'll let you go and give you your Sunday morning back and um, hopefully talk to you in the future. We're going to do some other collaborations together, I think. All right, sounds good. Yeah, okay. if you want to get on DMR, come check us out, bridgecomsystem.com. Absolutely. All right, man, thanks All right. a lot. Thank you. See you. See you.